All right, uh, what's on the bench? We have a whole bunch of 50 ohm loads. Uh, these, these here in the front here, these were uh, given to me by Mike, and um, there are two of each. So we get two of each kind here, mostly BNCs. These are these are end connectors, and then these I, are my own. All right, so uh, I have never seen uh, so many different types here all in one place. Uh, there's some that look familiar. These look very familiar. Um, I've never seen ones that had a 50 stamped on them. That's kind of a zoom in a little bit. 50 stamped on them. That's a little bit strange. I've seen a lot uh, ones that look very similar to this or like this. You can kind of imagine a, a resistor sitting in there. Uh, and then there's these weird ones here that have this little this little thing sticking out like a, like it was on a chain at one time, and then somebody somebody ripped off the ripped off the chain, but there's still a little uh, kind of a rivet sticking out, kind of a strange thing. But I thought we'd stick them on the DNA and see how they're doing. Now, you maybe be wondering how can I calibrate to BNC? Well, a long time ago I made this calibration standard. I'll see if I can remember to link it down below. But um, it's a bunch of uh, BNCs that have an exact reference plane in them, so the open and the short, everything is on the same reference plane. And then I put in uh, two 100 ohm resistors on that reference plane. So this is, should be a pretty good cal standard, at least up to a gigahertz. So we're going to use that as the calibration standard. And I've already calibrated, so let's put some of these things on the VNA. All right, uh, let's put the uh, Cal standard on. Uh, here's our short, it's over there. Here's our open, it's over there. And our load is smack dab right in the center there, okay? Um, now, um, here is probably my best load uh, in SMA. This is a very, very accurate load for SMA. And I put a BNC adapter on it. So it's going to add a little bit of electrical length. And you can see there, it just kind of, uh, kind of trickles down. Um, and then these are also mine. I've, I know that these are pretty good. They're about the same, right? About the same. They've got a little bit of inductance, but otherwise they're the same. Uh, this one has a little snout on them. Probably that's where the resistor lives. And here you, know, you can see that we've got some inductance going up. And then I've got this one, which I... Oh, it's a King's. This is a King's uh, SMA. It is pretty good too. It scrolls down a little bit there, but not too bad. Okay, so let's look at Mike's, the ones that Mike sent me. Here's the one with a little uh, weird little blip, blip at the end for maybe a chain or something. These are Amphenol. Uh, so they look a little bit different. They go off of that away. And let's look at the other one. Same thing. They're identical. Now what are these? These look familiar. These are also Kings. Okay. And that's what that one looks like. That's what that one looks like. All right. These are the short little stubs at the end. These are marked. It just says 50 ohms on them. Uh, pretty similar. Here's the ones that have the 50 stamped on the top. Ooh, they're bad. Woo, there you go. <laughs> Not too good for those. Um, Let's measure this a different way. Let's take a look at it in frequency. So we'll change the format here to log mag. And uh, let's put on my, my load. Uh, here's, here you can see everything is around minus 40, minus 50. Um, and so let's try the ones with a little thing at the end. And they're pretty good out to about Minus 20 is going to be my standard for, so these are probably good up to 700 megahertz. And we've got the short uh, kings. And they're good up to about 400 megahertz. we got the little stubby short stubby ones here. They're up to about 400 megahertz. 
the really weird ones that are marked 50, 50 ohms are atrocious. They're only good to about 138 megahertz. So I'm going to avoid those. <laughs> Definitely avoid those. All right. And then let's look at some of the ones that I had. Here's the one that I claim is really good, except it's on an extension. And we can see here that it's good to around, uh, probably good out to, oops. What did I just do, marker? It's probably good out to about here, 980 megahertz. These are pretty good little jobbers. Yeah, they're about the same. And this one's probably not as good. Uh, no, it's way, way down there. So anyway, there you go. Yeah. Um, so before you use any things, you should measure them. Uh, the ones that look really nice, marked 50 and everything, are terrible. They're good at real low frequency stuff, you know, audio work. <laughs> I don't know, but those are those are just those are just awful. Um, but yeah, the ones that I had, uh, I I had kind of pushed these aside when I found them. I found these on eBay and then I bought a bunch of them because they tested so good. I don't know who makes these, but uh, oh wait a minute, looks like they do they do have a mark on them. NXT, NXT. Yeah, MXT. Shout out if you know who MXT is, but these are really nice. These are, I, I bought five of these when I found out what they were. They were really good ones. And I've got this one that's good to 18 gigahertz. He's really good, but he's on extension here. Unfortunately, he's SMA. But uh, yeah, BNCs, they're not all created equal for sure. <laughs>